months. It is 61 outside. It's the next test at uh, 12.07. We've been blowing all day, pretty much. Started in pretty early. But uh, our inlet is bringing in right now 111.2. To click on to the little, uh, I guess, flip over to see how hot it is actually right down there in the tube. Break that up so inside the unit we're, blow, we're uh, at 132 degrees. So we have 111 coming out here. I added this in so you can see how much airflow is actually moving through this thing. 1242. About 20. It's actually really hot. And internally, we're at 140. So it's actually doing really well. I'm very surprised. This is uh, new. This is a thermostat that I wired into the system. Now, let me kind of explain to you what I did. Changing the fan system because it wasn't working good. This is reasonably, I can deal with this amount of. Uh, noise. <laughs> what I had in here was a 12 volt car fan, way too loud. It kicked on, it was a big monster. And um, so what I did was I added this fan, which is a uh, 12 volt fan. So I put my finger in the fan earlier, as you can see, it's messing up. So, uh, by accident, I don't do this. <laughs> but this is a 12 volt cool fan. It is forcing air into the tube, and then uh, there's a bilge blower halfway down on the inlet side for the cold air. And what that does is it picks up the uh, the air this fan distributes and forces it through. And as you can see, uh, coming through that big unit, this is how much airflow we have, which is a lot compared to the room. And it's very quiet because the fan's outside. Uh, this is what's running the bilge blower, so the actual temperature has to reach uh, let's see what it's set it to it has to reach 84. And when the when this fan runs, it's going to run on a separate uh, controller. And then whenever the outlet right here reaches the actual correct temperature, 84. It will uh, kick the bilge blower on, and the bilge blower actually forces more air out. Now, uh, this is not the way it's going to be set up forever. Um, I'm actually going to put this back together and put the inlets over here, so it's pulling air from over here on this side of the room. And then the outlet is going to be here, but I'm going to cut this in half so that uh, we only have this area. I'm going to put two sets of fans here at the top and then basically have a kind of open space near the bottom where the air can freely flow because I'm gonna want to block up this much you know airflow coming in or creating a kind of uh, a kind of uh, bottleneck for the heat. But uh, I'd say this is a successful uh, setup. We are fused here at uh, five volts so it's about all that we can have coming in. And then this unit controls that fan, so I'm going to wire this in, and I need to extend the wire from inside here for the uh, thermostat and run it down into the tube here, and then we're about done. But uh, that's what we got going on so far. As soon as I get the other fan system set up, uh, they will be on a separate thermostat. Both thermostats will be mounted on this side, and probably a little bit more electronics. I did, one thing I did actually do was, uh, this is, uh, you know, worst case scenario, it, it, the sun's out, uh, if something happens and we don't have any solar energy, which would not normally happen, but uh, if there was a time that I ever wanted to power these fans off of uh, AC power, I have been working on that. And I'll show you, I actually purchased this, which is a 12 volt power supply. It'll run anything 12 volt internally. So I'm going to wire this into it also, 
So just in case, if I really want to switch over to AC power, I can run it. And I can still pull the energy off the panels or off the grid or whatever. Just worst case scenario. You know, think about if it snows and the panels get covered in snow and they just, you know, are not function correctly, but, you know, the unit's not frozen. This is the, uh, the actual uh, bilge blower, so C-Choice bilge blower. So basically 4.5 amps, 12 volts. It will move the crap out of some air, as you can see here. And it's moving some air. And that's good because it keeps the house nice and toasty at that, uh, at that level. I'll go outside and show you where I actually mounted it and then show you what I've done so far. Alright, so I'm going to just show you the, uh, the blower motor I have hooked up. This is the uh, cold uh, cold air pipe and uh, this is the actual blower motor here. So it uh, spindles up and it's actually forcing air down through the system and back up through the top into the house. Now this is the uh, the battery system here. And, uh, this little thing I built to uh, hold the battery. And we have a blocking diode over here to uh, stop it. System is still charging. So actually, uh, we're in protection mode. That's what we're in. So we're, we're not charging anymore. System is just basically floating. So uh, that's pretty much it. Just went using one little battery to power the fans and that's it. Bricks back on top of this and that's it. That's the uh, battery system for the solar heater. It actually runs the fans inside so I don't have to pull any more AC power using all power off the panels. Alright, cool. Peace out.